The next constraint that I'd like to cover is the perpendicular constraint. To do that, I'm going to start out, I'm going to draw a line. So I'm going to go to the sketch menu and choose line, or I could push L on my keyboard to do the same thing. And I just want to be coincident to this first line is all I'm really concerned about. Now as I drag around, you can see I get different choices. Um, I'll just drag this out at some obscure angle. And there I have a line. If I click on the end point of this line, I can drag this around as I wish. On my sketch palette, I'm going to find the perpendicular constraint. I'm going to click on the line, and then I'm going to click on the thing I want it to be perpendicular to. And now you'll see the perpendicular symbol appears there. I can still click on this line and move it up and down. And as I rotate the first line, notice that this line maintains a perpendicular relationship to the line that I just drew. Perpendicular is a very handy constraint and one that I think you'll use often.